so far with the lyrics that you know it's five o'clock in the morning dude's just getting in you know um he had to knock on the door to get in so this girl you know she let him in she didn't say much have you ate let me go in and hang up your coat and your hat you know lulling into him up uh, lulling him him into a false sense of security and then she offers to fix him a meal and sometime between him sitting down to begin to partake in that meal to when he woke up the following morning or however long it's been because <laughs> it's looking so common <laughs> you know he wake up and find himself bandaged he in a full body bandage <laughs> possibly a cast <laughs> and he don't know what happened he, all he know is he woke up in the hospital he damn near dead, hooked up to monitors and ventilators and, and you know, patches all over his chest, up under the bandages. <laughs> and he said, I guess actions speak louder than words. And this, this lesson, it's, it's a two-part lesson geared to more so men, but also to our women out there. We're going to get to you in a second. But guys, it's, you know, it's real important that you not take your girl for granted. It's real important that you not take be it your wife, your girlfriend, your baby mama, whoever she is, whatever type of emotional relationship that you have with her, you know, you out doing your thing, you partying, you might have your little some some on the side. It, it could be something as, you know, innocent and simple as you know what? You get off work and one of your boys call and say, Oh, let's go out and let's go do and you know, blah, 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 whoop, whoop, and you you all for it. But sometime between you agreeing to go and you getting there, you don't give her a heads up to say, you know what, baby, I'm gonna do such and such tonight. I'm gonna be with the guys tonight. I'm I'm taking a night off from being your man and I'm gonna go be a man. Uh, you know, so she's sitting at home and she worries. She can't figure out where you at. You know, or if this is the pattern, she, you know, she's okay. No problem. You go have fun. <laughs> <laughs> and she's sitting at home, you know, knowing, knowing you're not going to show up. And you out, knowing you ain't going to show up. So you pull up into the driveway, you know, go up to the door, and you got a knock to get in your house. <laughs> Clue number one. Clue number two, and she's the one that has to let you in. But when she really start ringing bells, guys, and you know, it it really should let you know that everything might not be cool. Is she don't put up a fight? Cause by this point, she done talked herself up into being real pissed off. Her girls, because not only is her girl <laughs> who she thought she could call that could be right there with you or with her in her anger and angst and, and just utter unhappiness it's her man that y'all are that y'all were together and she gotta find out from her girlfriend about where you at yeah it's not a good look fellas it's not a good look so okay you know by this time she, she, she's cool alright I'm gonna show him you know, I've been trying to be cool. I've been trying to lay back, you know, because I'm, I'm tired of arguing and fighting about the same things over and over and over. And you come in and she offers to fix you breakfast at 5 o'clock in the morning. Right. You follow me now? Okay. <laughs> so she whip you up some eggs. 
she throw you in some bacon or some sausage. You know, she may even go all out and do some pancakes or some cream of wheat or some grits. Or for those of you who like that oatmeal, you know, with some brown sugar sprinkled on top. Yeah. And between the time you take the first couple of bites, she done knocked you upside your head with them grits and or, or oatmeal or cream of wheat. Or she done splashed your tail with some bacon grease. She has some butter heating up in the back left over from them pancakes that's now all oh, splashed on top of you too. And... You wake up in a hospital. <laughs> close to this close, that's door. You got you know, you got the angel of death just flying over you waiting. Like vultures picking you off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actions speak louder than words. <laughs> now ladies <laughs> if you find yourself in a position where you feel like you have to bargain and negotiate with your man to get him home at a decent hour and you feel yourself building up, building up to this, this inner angst <laughs> that just cannot be contained anymore. It's in your best interest to pack a couple of clothes, a couple of articles, you know, maybe all your articles <laughs> or put his shit on the porch. <laughs> Something. <laughs> When it comes down to it, when he finally does knock on the door, you know, it's in your best interest not to be followed. Because he waking up in a hospital bandage, you getting booked in an intake. <laughs> you got fingerprint ink all over you. You know, that's not a good look for us either, ladies. So the moral of this story is, and the moral of thin line between love and hate, his fellas, stop taking you girls for granted. Stop taking the fact that she don't argue about these little bitty petty things that you feel are petty. But she has explained time and time and time again that this hurts her, this bothers her. You know, it's it this she's not it's not sitting well with her. You know, stop taking that for granted. Appreciate the woman that is willing to be with you. You know, women don't take your men for granted. If it's vice versa. You know, it could be you sitting up in a hospital, wrapped up in gauze, you know. <laughs> Just don't let it get that far. Because, you know, it's a thin line between love and hate. Women will love you with every fiber of their being. But there's a certain point where that love turns into resentment and that resentment turns into anger and that anger turns into a lap full of grits for you. You don't have to testify. Just imagine having to go to court <laughs> and put it on record <laughs> that you did him in with some grits, girl, and it's not that deep. <laughs> so, uh, our lesson tonight, our lesson today you know, it's a thin line between love and hate, ladies and gentlemen. Let's let's be better people. Let's be better partners and relationships. You know, if you if this relate if it's not working, it's not working, and there's nothing gonna change it. It's not it's not a bad thing to be by yourself sometimes. Sometimes you gotta be alone to grow. And when you grow, it's better to grow from you know inner reflection than having to grow some new skin. <laughs> Let's just, let's just be better people. So with that, this is your girl, Pauline. If you found yourself in this position, I hope you're okay. If you find yourself in a position where you're about to snap to that, to that level, let's hope you get out in time. <laughs> Again, uh, I love you, baby boys. I love you, baby girls. This is your girl, Pauline. I love ya. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>